this nice and beautiful interface very simplistic and straight to the point but then we still need um, to make sure that our comments are displaying very uh, professionally the way to do that is to actually write your own bootstrap code and make sure that the bootstrap code um, makes it look cool another way to do it is to look, go and hijack the ones other people have done and put out for free out there and then use it for us and that's the second one uh, we'll use so you go to a site called bootsnip uh, it's a bootstrap a site that you see uh, snip snippets for bootstrap code all right so when we when you are there you can see that there are so many snip snippets as you can see this one this for registration form this sample page just sample sections of a web page that people have designed and decided to put it out here for um, for free so for us to add comments we can just search for comments to see if anybody has done anyone on comments what I'll do is to click on this and then this search box pulls up so from the search box I'll just type comments because I'm looking for boot snippets that are tagged comments maybe from there we can see something that we can use as you can see there is one and then there's another this one is tagged like the is the next step comment like the reddit then there is this one and there there are so many of them so what we're gonna do is to hijack one of them and use so for me we could use this one or we could use this so I've clicked on that and uh, it looks uh, pretty much okay for me so what I'll do is to look at the code as you can see the code is just two you see that this is the preview and then there's the code the HTML we click on the HTML it has a container and then has a role for us we already have container in our code so I'll just copy from role the second div up to the last that is second to the last div so if I scroll up I'll see that um, it's stopping here so I'll click a right click click copy and then we head into our code and the place we're looking for in our code is the the projects show.blade so we'll go to our code and look for show.blade and then right there on the knit this place where we have this loop so I'm just gonna paste it on the first just to be sure of what we copied and then we after editing it we can take it up so from what I have here we have a media list that is a ul tag just not to confuse it this is what i copied the whole row okay so i'm trying to remove all these other ones because if you look back at the code uh if we get back to preview we'll see that there are many of them there's maris eu there i just want to remove all this second one and the third one so that we can concentrate on just one of them so back to my code i'm looking for there's an li tag so I'm looking for all these other li tags that I can delete so I'll just uh, click and delete and then I'll just delete and then we're good all right and um, who, who needs more events I, I doubt so we can remove this cool so we just have one and um, what we're gonna do is to make sure that this is what actually loops the li tag is what loops so we're going to end for each here and for each then we are going to do uh, this for each here so we're gonna copy copy and uh, we'll put the for each here cool so that the loop generates different uh, li tags and then the next thing we're gonna do is to start putting all these um, comment body and uh, comment URL so in the comment we have the here's the body and um, the URL is supposed to be uh, more more like um, URL like a proof of work done so I'm just gonna call it uh, proof for now okay cool um, then about the name we'll do something about the name which is um we'll work out the name 
but first let's test it out first so we go back to our code then inside our code we'll refresh and keep your eyes here so the refresh has a code right now and remember we didn't delete this but then if we scroll down we'll see this and what we'll do is to make sure that it extends to the extremes as um like this one did we'll just make it sh make sure that it extends so if we come to our code we'll see that there's a panel default uh, but there's, there's no width okay there's width column md4 instead of 12 we need it to ex extend uh we don't need an offset an offset puts it in the middle that's not what we need and for small phones uh, it should it should be 12 too and uh, we don't need an offset for extra small phones should be 12 to we don't need an offset then we'll do for large phones or large uh, screens for large screens it should be 12 to so it should just generally be be 12 that is extend the whole screen so I'll refresh and see whether what we did worked if we scroll down see yeah that this now contains the comments and uh, to me it looks cool so uh, what we're gonna do is um work out the name and the post title all right so in order to add a new user i have added a new uh, code to the comment uh, model so if you go to your comment model and um, i've opened mine this is the comment model uh, this is what you had but then i, I added this uh, basically it's a just has one uh, relationship to comment to tell comment that every comment uh, has at least one user that made the comment and it connects to app user id and um, of course this is not really necessary but then i just put it just to indicate um the two fields but it's not really necessary um laravel will pick it up by itself so these two fields are not really necessary for you you can just delete it leave, leave stuff like this okay so um what we're gonna do is to go to our shoulder blade and then try and make use of what we have so um to to go ahead we have a, a comment and then uh, on a comment model we have user right user because um, i'm making reference to this guy here user model so inside comments model we'll have user and that user will now help us pick out the user we're looking for and what we're looking for in the user is basically uh, maybe first name first name that's the that's the name of the field that we're looking for inside the users table all right so when we refresh we are hoping to see the name of the user and we have a problem so this error true up because we removed that so of course uh, we should just add it back so we have this id and user id that's what we're looking for and um so depending on which version of laravel you're using if you're through this the error make sure you have these two fields in it so when we get back and refresh our error should be gone so our error is gone but if we look at the comments now we'll now see um the name of the user that uh, made the comment it's supposed to show you but it's not showing probably because the user that made the comment uh, may not have had a first name so but uh what we can do just to test what we have is to use email because every user that signs up has an email but when we are signing up the user that created the comment it obviously doesn't have an email so um i'm refreshing if we scroll down we'll see that there is an email to it so uh, what we're gonna do uh, for me uh, what i think we should do is to have both first name and uh, last name and email so we should have uh, something like this something like this okay so we have first name first name of the user that made the comment and uh, their last name last name of the user that made the comment then the dash or a hyphen then their email so at least one of these uh, must show up but then we need to have it in an href tag so that somebody can click on it once and then it will take them to where they are supposed to redirect to for me i can just do a href equal to it goes to users do we even have the link i'm not sure we've created a user profile link yet uh, but it should go to users slash 
um, the user ID, comment user ID. So I strongly doubt that we've created a user ID yet. So we may just run into an error telling us that um, we need to create this route yet. So we've not created this route, I think. So if we refresh, let's see if we have the error. Okay, so far, if we click on it, takes us to, as you can see, uh, there's an error because we've not created the page. The page could not be found, but uh, so far it looks cool. So we have a user that makes a comment, and then we have the comments that the user made, and so on and so forth. So see you in the next video. Um, the other thing I can uh, try and do is to make sure that the names are not that big. As you can see, the names here are actually big. So if we have... Um, a shorter name it will be it will be really cool so what else we should have is um, the date that the comment was created i'm just going to do a comment created at created at comment created at. so we'll still get back around to work on time and make sure that things are cool but for now we can go with this So this looks cool for me and in the next video tutorial let's work out other things.